Hey guys, it's X Original Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you Jailbreak Update V5. Um, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you is Semi Restore 7. It has been updated to work from 5.0 all the way up to iOS 7.1.1. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you will know that. If you guys want to get more links and so I can explain, guys, get some more stuff to you guys better, you can just follow me on Twitter. I will put that link in the description so go and follow me now so the next thing I'm going to be showing you is wait before I skip to that um, I can show you guys how to get it so if we go to my download page on my website and we go down we have the download link here if you click on it it will take you to zippy share which is what most of my downloads is it's not really a big file it's 0 0.41 megs um, once you download that it will come up with this you need to plug in your device and click semi restore I have heard that semi restore has worked through Wi-Fi so if your laptop and your iPad or your iPod or your iPhone is connected to your Wi-Fi and your laptop is um, you can actually semi restore it, restore it through Wi-Fi which is actually kind of surprising to me but I have seen it work and people have been saying it works so that is semi restore 7 on to the next update is Pangu Pangu has been updated for English so if we go here and we go to the Pangu website, they have updated it for Mac. And let me just skip to the channel change log for version 1.1.0. They add English support, optimize the file size. So guys, if you didn't know, the file used to be 60 megs or something like that. They did optimize it down to about 34 megs. So if you guys go and check that out on my website, as you see here, there's the download link and they fixed the boot loop bug if you guys still have this boot loop bug people have been saying you have to put your flashlight a flashlight any the flashlight over the sensor on the top of your device and it should boot up but if that doesn't work then you will need to fully restore using itunes and wait until they update this jailbreak to stop the boot loop um, the next one is for the using new info leak instead of using Ionix one and add online self verification so that's what they added to it um, if you guys do not know how to do it you need to plug in your device and you need to go to your device and change your date back to June 2nd your device will reboot twice during the jailbreak the first one will be to install all the jailbreak software on there the next one will be to actually put Cydia on there so once Cydia are on there you can actually click on it, it will prepare file systems as usual and then you have Cydia. So yeah, if you guys as I said before want to get the jailbreak just go to my website and click download. I did update it to version 1.1.0 and I have got a full list of working tweaks. I did update this and it's getting bigger and bigger every single day because I've been updating it every time a new tweak comes out. I am thanking you guys because I did get over 1,500 Twitter followers and as I always say the more Twitter followers and the more subscribers I get the better my videos can be. So this is X Original Tech. Can you please like, subscribe and comment and don't forget to share and follow me on Twitter. Peace.